This move works out your abs, your glutes, your triceps, your biceps, and your back. Good job. Go get a glass of water and give yourself a pat on the back. You lie down on your back, you're gonna do some basic bicycle reps which work out your core, but at the same time, you're gonna incorporate an upper body workout so you're getting those front deltoids worked out too. Good job, go get a glass of water and give yourself a pat on the back. Not only do jump squats help strengthen your legs, but they also help you really work on your coordination and balance. Good job, go get a glass of water and give yourself a pat on the back. You're gonna bring the knee into the other knee, your calf really into the back of the other knee. And you're gonna then extend the leg up to the ceiling as you lower your body down to the ground. So touch, pull, extend. And when you extend, the reason why you're taking your nose down to the ground is so that you can really take advantage of the angle at the top with your leg. So I don't want your leg down here, I want it up really, really high. Touch. Pull, lift, touch, pull, lift. Take this pause here to prep yourself to hit that angle at the top. Again, we're working our entire body. And you can do 30 repetitions of these. I want you to take your knees and point them in towards each other and separate your feet as far as you possibly can. We're gonna follow this inverted line with a leg lift. You're gonna shift your weight slightly onto the left shoulder and then at the same time lift your leg. When you lift your leg, follow that inverted line that you created. Point your toe, stay engaged. Because I'm having you place your hands on top of one another, this is going to require a different set of muscles to help balance you. Start out with five repetitions and you can work yourself up to 30. But I want your feet to be slightly separated. What you're gonna do is follow that same diagonal movement that you did from the beginning with your left leg so we hit the same spot in your glute, but you're going to lift the opposite arm to the side. So lift, and place. Try not to let everything fall down to the ground. Okay, I want you to control it up, pause, control it back down. Here we go. One, two, shift your weight slightly over the right shoulder as you tighten everything and lift. Four, five. You're going to place the ball of your left foot down on the mat. You're gonna tuck your knee into your chest, let both knees bend naturally to the ground, and then extend the left leg straight and stretch your right leg up into the air. Now, do you see how my hip is opening? I want you to try and keep the hip down. So it's a real butt lift at the top. Not so much a stretch. Bend and lift. Great job, you can do up to 30 of these. going to pull your right knee up as high as you can towards your right shoulder. When you're ready, you're going to push up and when you push up, you're going to lift your knee off of the ground and extend it up behind you as you position yourself over your left knee. So drop down, push and lift. Notice that my hands are under my armpits as I lower myself down. You want to make sure that as soon as you start to push yourself up, the abs come in. And drop, lift, point the toe. And you can do up to 30 repetitions of this move as well. You're going to start lower down on your left elbow. Your leg is going to be extended directly out to the side of your right hip. You're going to be down on your elbow and as you... This is the straight leg raise. Lie down with your right leg extended and left leg bent. Lift your straight leg up until both knees meet, then slowly lower. Do three sets of 10 reps, then switch legs. This is side kicks. Start by lying on your side with your legs slightly in front of your hips. 
Turn your right toes up to the ceiling, then lift and lower your right leg eight times without letting your hips rock backward. Keep your core tight the entire time. Repeat on the left side. The basic swing is the foundation for any kettlebell workout. The first thing you should know, your arms do not power this move. It's actually your hips, hamstrings, and butt. Let's get started. Have your kettlebell on the ground in front of you. You can use a 15 pound kettlebell or a lighter weight if that's more. Here's how to do kneeling side leg circles. For this move, you'll need to get on the ground. Kneel on your right knee with your right hand on the floor. Place your left hand on your hip, extend your left leg out to the side and make small circles. Watch that your hips stay steady. After 15 circles, reverse direction. Then do the exercise on the other side. This move works out your abs, your glutes, your triceps, your biceps, and your back. Good job. Go get a glass of water and give yourself a pat on the back. This is sumo jump squat. Stand with your feet wider than hip distance apart, toes outward. Keeping your back straight, lower into a sumo squat. Make sure your knees don't extend beyond your toes. Then jump as high as you can, reach your arms overhead, land in a squat position, and repeat for 30 to 60 seconds. Here's how to do alternating lunges. Begin with your feet hip distance apart. Step your right foot forward about two feet and lower into a lunge. Make sure your knee doesn't go past your ankle. Drive your body off the ground and switch the position of your legs in the air. You should land in a lunge with your left foot forward. Keep alternating sides as you repeat this exercise for 30 to 60 seconds. This is how to do a plyometric side lunge. Stand with your feet about twice as wide as your shoulders. Then jump your left leg to the left and bend your knee to come into a side lunge. At the same time, bring your right hand down to touch the floor in front of your body. Keep your chest high as you do this move. Then drive from your left foot to hop up. Land in side lunge on your right side with your left hand touching the floor. Do this for 30 to 60 seconds. Here's how to do an X-jack jump. This is a fun twist on classic jumping jacks. Start with your feet together and arms at your sides. As you jump, stretch your arms and legs out to the sides. Think about your body making an X shape in the air. Time yourself aiming for 30 to 60 seconds of movement. Here's how to combine a squat and an overhead press. Hold your dumbbells at your shoulders and lower into a squat. Then, as you push through your heels to stand back up, press your weights overhead. Do three sets of 15 reps. Plyometrics or jump training can blast fat and boost your heart rate without a lot of space or equipment. Here's an exercise you can do anywhere to get in shape. Here's how to do alternating lunges. Begin with your feet hip distance apart. Step your right foot forward about two feet and lower into a lunge. Make sure your knee doesn't go past your ankle. Drive your body off the ground and switch the position of your legs in the air. You should land in a lunge with your left foot forward. Keep alternating sides as you repeat this exercise for 30 to 60 seconds. To start, stand tall with your feet hip distance apart and toes pointing forward. Keep your core tight and your back straight. Step your right foot forward about two feet. Lower your body so both your legs make 90 degree angles. Push off your right leg and return to the standing position. Seems easy, right? Well, here are two common knee busting mistakes. One common mistake, here's how to do a perfect plank. Lie face down with your legs extended and elbows bent directly under your shoulders. Your feet should be hip distance apart and your arms should be shoulder width apart. Now you can place your palms on the floor or clasp your hands. Engage your abs, tuck your toes, and squeeze your glutes to lift your body off the ground. Focus your eyes ahead about a foot in front of your hands. A few things to watch out for. Don't hyperextend your knees, don't drop your head, or allow your butt to rise up. You want your head, neck, shoulders, back, butt, and legs all to fall in a straight line. Try and hold this pose for 20 seconds, and eventually you can hold it for a minute or even longer, as long as you don't compromise your form.